This is the cabin side uh, tree line that we tap all the way along the ridge here. You see there's snow on the downward side at the top. It's clear. Sun comes in there and then we've got quite a bit of snow still left on the property. So we collect all these buckets first. Storage area where we pile snow up against these two 100 liter uh, garbage cans and that keeps the sap nice and cool. We end up having to go further and further afield to get snow when the weather gets warmer and the sap is still running just to make sure that it stays cool. And here is the sugar shack. It used to be temporary but has now been the main sugar shack for three years at this point. Tarp up because it was uh, really, really cold and windy a couple of miles ago. So we uh, tarped it in and closed off the front, so it was more comfortable and the sap would heat up better. That's our wood pile. And there's more wood. And there's our stove with our stainless steel double sink. And it's a boil on the back and we warm it up in the front and then as that boils down in the back we transfer over into it. There's our two Holtzhausens there. Got the wood dry and then we've got one more on the other side. These are supposed to dry a lot faster than a conventional stack and create sort of a chimney effect in the center. The center is open so it uh, creates a bit of heat in there and dries faster apparently. But Seems to seems to work. So there we go. I'll go on the other side of the pond and uh, show you what we have over there. My sled with my container that I'm going to fill with the, uh, with the sap. There's our stairs going up the other side. I'm going right up this hill. Okay, so you can see. There's the start of the buckets there. Goes up the hill. This right here. See, we had, had a fairly good run. Hopefully, you can see that. That bucket's a little, almost, I guess, three quarters full. The ones over there are three quarters full. There's the big funnel that I use. And it's got a little filter in there too. You can see some of the twigs and stuff that it traps before it's the first line of filtering. Okay, so there's the filter in the container. Here are our lovely buckets on the trees. There we go. Got quite a bit of sap in there. It's already starting to run this morning. It started to run at about 9 o'clock, so it should be a really good day. So this is going to be kind of tricky. So I'm holding the iPad and trying to pour. I will try it. Let me get it in the picture. There we go. Hook it back on there. Yeah, you can see it's just starting to run. Hopefully have a good run today when it warms up. Have a good sap run, you have to get down below freezing at night and above during the day. And sunshine is the best and that's what we have today. Lots of sunshine. So hopefully these buckets will be half full again by the end of the day and we can uh, keep the boil going with even more sap. So there we go. Rough terrain to collect sap on, but it's worthwhile.
All right, 11 o'clock, and uh, all the buckets are empty. Everything is in either here, the evaporator, or in our lovely fridge, which would be here. There's our fridge. So roughly, I guess, around 200 liters, approximately, that we've got. So started at 7.30, it's now 11. So that's pretty good that everything is, is in and ready to go. So now I'm gonna go inside and make a coffee and then come back out, sit in this beautiful sunshine. Look at this. Well, now this contraption goes to the front of the stove and acts as a sort of a ramp to pull the double stove or double uh, sink off when we get to the point where we uh, are too close and we don't want to burn the sap we slide pu pull that up to the front you can see it's sitting on these rails so we pull it up to the front and we slide it slide it right onto there and then we tip it on its side and we scoop up every little bit we possibly can and this is the second phase because we have a propane tank with a container we put on there and that boils it down even more and then once that's to the point where it's almost done we transfer it into another container and filter it as we go each time and then we take it inside and we finish it up on the stove all right so here we are final day for the maple syrup this is the contraption that I was talking about. Now, let me get this in focus. Can you see that? There's the ramp that's up against the stove. There we go. So this is down to about half inch of sap left in the double pan. So it's getting pretty close to me having to pull this off. And then I transfer it into this that's on top of the uh, propane burner to uh, get it to the next level. And then it's transferred into that container and taken inside and finished on the stove inside the cabin. So that's where we are right now. And this is the next day at about 10 o'clock. We started yesterday at 7.30 in the morning. And we just let it go through the night. We finished about 10.30 at night and let it uh, let the boil die down and then started up again at six o'clock this morning. So it would have been faster, but we decided to get some sleep instead. Okay, so we're now in the final phase. We're inside the cabin. We've got the large filter that we were filtering through. This is a big cotton filter. We filtered into this pot and we had uh, a lot of sap so we had to bring another pot and this one's yet to go through this cotton filter so once that boils down a bit we'll uh, add this into the cotton filter and that's the final filtering into this we are at about 215 or so I want to get to 219 in order to have this thing finish up. Yes or no? Oui. Okay, so this is uh, boiled to 219 degrees, 7 degrees over the boiling point of water. If I go a little more, it went to about 220, 222. And jars are all washed out and boiled up, and now we transfer into the jars. And then what is left after we do all our jars, we make into maple syrup candy. And I have a feeling we're going to need to get more jars. I can't believe the yield we've got going here. It's quite a bit. Okay. 
jars. But in the meantime, grab the lids. These are all nice and hot in boiling water. Like honey, maple syrup can spoil, so it's good to put them in uh, the mason jars and make sure they have a really good seal on them. <laughs> Are we filling? Here we have all our lovely jars of maple syrup filled up. We ended up with seven liters, which is two liters more than I thought we'd get. And uh, we're ready for our candy. So I put about half a liter, a little more than half a liter in this pot. And uh, the way you make the sugar candy is you boil it a lot more so you get more sugar content, less water content. And then you have to whip the living daylights out of it in order to get the uh, air in between the granules of sugar. And then you have to time it in order to get it uh, in the right consistency. And what we're going to do as well is we're going to make different types of candy. Got to keep watching this because it just boils over. See? There you go. So we're going to, once it's whipped to the consistency we need, you can do a close-up here, Emma, if you like. My uh, assistant that's getting paid. We're going to do marshmallows. Not. We're going to do uh, sunflower seeds, uh, salted peanuts, some chocolate chips, and more peanuts over here. And then just some plain stuff as well. So it's just going to take quite some time for it to get to the point where we're going to need to take it off. So my lovely assistant can turn off the camera for now because she'll be standing there for quite some time. Okay, it is about quarter after 12. So we finished bottling everything at about 12. It's only 15 minutes later. We're still whipping up the uh, sugar candy. So Emma, if you want to come closer, you can see in the pot here. See the pot, it's starting to froth. Getting to the top, you take it off the heat. Keep whipping it. And it'll go right back down again. And yeah, it's going to go clear. So it's got a long ways to go. So it's Francois here. I tell you, when I make maple syrup back in Quebec, we used to make candy like it is too. That's that, Italian. That's Italian. <laughs> that's Italian accent. Okay, hold on a second. Take two. So they call me in because I'm a real French guy and I know how to make candy. <laughs> so I am here, my name is Francois, and I use my stir fork. This is a Quebec fork. Other times go different ways. We don't know why. <laughs> but we make the maple syrup like this back home. Am I still speaking with a French accent? <laughs> no. No? Okay, I am Luigi. <laughs> and I'm, <laughs> I'm here from Italy to make some maple syrup. But they don't have any maple trees, do they? That's why I came here. <laughs> Again, it is now 39 minutes after we bottled. We're still stirring. A lot of work to make candy. A lot of work. My one arm is quite big compared to my <laughs> left arm is a little tiny wee thing and my right arm is getting quite huge. My hand is getting covered in scars. Emma, you're going to have to get a good shot of the candy. Wow, this 
is the most candy I think we have ever made. And now it's hardened on the inside. Yep. So this hardens up, and we scrape this off. And uh, maple sugar. We have maple sugar. There we are. So time check. Fifty-four minutes. Really? After we bottled our syrup, we've got chock load of candy. That's because it's this has got to be like triple what we normally make in candy. So. That took a heck of a lot longer. I think I'll have a nap now. Napping of the candy. This oh. is the one with peanuts in it. Peanuts? You can see the bottom of it so you can see peanuts in it. Oh. Chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's still mm -hmm. melty. And it's really rather melty. Yummy. Uh, oh, peanuts and chocolate. Did I just scream into the mic? Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, the marshmallows. This is the regular stuff. This is the regular. We'll make these pieces smaller so the girls don't want to eat it all. And here is the marshmallow. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, this is, it's no. so awesome. Maybe the final step. Emma is scraping all of the hard maple sugar candy off the sides of the pot. And this is going to be our maple sugar that we put in a separate bag. It's magic. Magic, canoe, canoe FM. Au revoir! Arrivederci! Creepy smiles! <laughs>